This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, July 11th. Stock index futures putting in a very good performance yesterday as Fed Chair Powell indicating that the central bank is on track to lower interest rates, most likely at the upcoming July 31st meeting. Also, we are seeing some follow-through strength today, including new record highs for the NASDAQ. So I find it interesting that traders are focusing more on the interest rate situation and a little bit less on the U.S.-China trade problems. That in itself should be viewed as a sign of strength for uh, stock index futures. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index over the last few days coming under some pressure as interest rate differentials turning a bit negative to the greenback. And it does appear that the Fed is likely to be more accommodative than the European Central Bank is likely to be. So that in itself is a recipe for somewhat of a weaker dollar and a firmer euro currency. Interest rate markets a little bit lower today. We do have some supply with the Treasury auctioning 30-year bonds. It still appears that almost all of the major central banks are on a course toward easier credit. That remains supportive to the interest rate futures markets. So any breaks should be used as buying opportunities. And I think the same analysis is true for the gold market. Easier credit from central banks is likely to support gold. So both interest rate markets and gold, I believe, should be bought on breaks. And I think this is a trend that, uh, to the upside that is likely to last for quite a few months. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.